After lunch, Lu Chen half lied on the chair with his stomach propped up. And old Jack was tidying up the dining table happily. This time, there were two soul masters in the Holy Soul Village, and he was happier than anyone else. Looking at the busy old Jack, Lu Chen had mixed feelings for a while. Although he was picked up by the old Jack outside, the old Jack has always been very kind to him, treating himself like a grandson. For six full years, I have worked hard and never complained. In his previous life, Lu Chen was actually an orphan who was left at the gate of the orphanage. Lu Chen, who grew up in an orphanage, did not receive much care, and even suffered a lot. Taking care of children is a hassle. For those who love and love children, they will change after facing so many children for a long time. At the age of 13, he escaped from the orphanage and worked as a laborer in a small restaurant to support himself. Although he was not paid, he was provided with food and housing. Lu Chen is already very satisfied with this, and the food in the restaurant is much better than that in the orphanage. After getting older, Lu Chen resigned from the small restaurant, and the boss gave him a small two yuan. This was the first time he felt warm. He went to a big city, and he saw the red lights, green wine, busy traffic, and the hypocrisy and cunning of the big city. Like most people, a young man like Lu Chen who has no education, no ability, no background, and no connections, finally got lost in the whirlpool of the city and became an abandoned house. In the end, Chase Lu couldn't sleep in the rental house because of malnutrition and staying up late playing games, and finally traveled to the Holy Soul Village. Grandpa Jack's hair seems to be a lot grayer. Looking at the old Jack's hunched back, Lu Chen had to sigh that time makes people old. Summoning the Infinity Gem Martial Soul, the power of the Time Gem was activated, a little green light flickered on the fingertips, and was driven into old Jack's body by Chase Lu. This light spot is triggered once a year, and it can be triggered 60 times in total. Each time it is triggered, old Jack's physical state will return to a year ago. Old Jack has been kind to him in nurturing him, and he, Lu Chen, is not a wolf-hearted white-eyed wolf. Old Jack raised him for six years, and Lu Chen gave him back ten times. After I walked out of the Holy Soul Village, I don't know when I will be able to come back. Grandpa Jack, I'm going out to play. Lu Chen stood up from his chair, greeted old Jack and ran out. Remember to come back early, don't play too late. Got it, Grandpa. Walking on the village road of Holy Soul Village, Lu Chen walked towards Tang San's house. According to the original plot, the current Tang Hao already knows that his filial son Tang San has twin spirits. Apart from being shocked by his son's talent, Tang Hao also seemed to see the hope of revenge from Tang San. At this point in time, Tang Hao should be teaching Tang San the chaotic cloak hammer technique. Let this old man come and see if this chaotic wind hammer technique is really so amazing. Standing outside Tang San's house, Lu Chen didn't hear the tinkling sound, but smelled a fragrance. Huh. Didn't I remember wrongly? Lu Chen was puzzled, and directly pushed open the wooden door of Tang San's house and walked in. Lu. Lu Chen. You. Um. Why are you here? You. Um. Just in time, I. Um. Dad. Made. Um. Braised rabbit meat and. Steamed rabbit meat. Um. Let's eat together. Tang San looked at Lu Chen who broke in suddenly, and said to Lu Chen enthusiastically. And Lu Chen looked at Tang San stuffed his mouth full of rabbit meat, his face and hands were full of oil, as if he had never eaten meat in his life. Braised rabbit meat and steamed rabbit meat. Lu Chen looked at Tang San with a strange expression, then glanced at Tang Hao who was also eating rabbit meat, leaned forward and asked Tang San, is it delicious? Smell, it's so fragrant, Lu Chen, come and eat some, it will be gone later. Tang San wiped the oil on his face, then took a rabbit leg and handed it over. Ah, uh, no, I just ate it. You should eat more, I'll make you thinner, remember to ask your father to prepare a few more for you when you go to the academy, and build a good relationship with other people in the dormitory. With a smile on his face, Lu Chen gave Tang San a good suggestion. Lu Chen, you are right, interpersonal relationships are also very important. Dad, let's make a few later, so I can take them to the college and share them with other roommates. Well, hurry up and finish eating, there is one more thing I want to teach you after eating. Tang Hao glanced at Lu Chen, he always felt that something was wrong, as if this bastard was plotting against his son, but what he said was indeed true, interpersonal relationships are indeed very important. Lu Chen, what do you want to bring to the academy? Me? Grandpa Jack planted a lot of carrots, he can't eat them all by himself, I'll bring some carrots. Carrots have high nutritional value. Oh, well, I'm full. By the way, Chase Lu, what's the matter with you here? 
Tang San asked while clearing the dining table. Lu Chen found a chair and sat down. Look at what you said, can't I come to you if I have nothing to do? We have been friends for many years, and both of us have awakened martial souls, so we can cultivate soul power. In a few days, we will go to Nuoding Elementary Soul Master Academy together to spend six years of good time together. Isn't this here to talk to you about the bright future? Why do I feel that you are lying to me? I don't read much, so don't lie to me. Tang San said suspiciously, he knew who Lu Chen was, Tang San knew best. Cheat. Who in the entire Holy Soul Village doesn't know that I, Lu Chen, am upright and upright? Besides, I have studied in private schools. I have read a lot, so I won't lie to you. Stare, seeing Tang San's energetic eyes staring at him, Lu Chen began to feel a little embarrassed. Oh, it's really nothing. Didn't you awaken your martial soul today? I came to fight with you. Whoever wins will be called brother, and whoever loses will be called brother. Lu Chen, are you sure? Tang San couldn't believe it, didn't he know if he could beat me? You, Lu Chen, are so eager to recognize your brother? What? What do you mean? Think I will lose? Lu Chen sneered secretly, watching how grandpa would teach you later. Isn't this obvious? Although Lu Chen's Wu Hun is better than my blue silver grass, I don't think you who have just awakened Wu Hun will be my opponent. HMPH. Little Sanzi, you have no idea what kind of terrifying opponent you are facing now. The person standing in front of you is no longer the former Lu Chen. Lu Chen looked at Tang San contemptuously, and said to Tang San in a victorious gesture. What is your martial soul, call it out and let me see. Tang Hao, who was silent at the side, suddenly spoke to Lu Chen. Look, blacksmith, do you understand? My martial soul is a very rare jeweled martial soul. Lu Chen folded his hands on his chest, raised his head high, and pulled it like money 100 million. Gem-like martial spirit? That is indeed very rare. I heard from Shao San that you are still born with full spirit power? Tang Hao couldn't believe it. If Tang San was born full of soul power, that would still make sense. After all, Tang San inherited the top weapon soul of Duluo Continent, the clear skyhammer and the blue silver emperor of Ah Yin. But it would be nice for a mere child of ordinary people to have soul power. How could there be a rare innate full soul power in a hundred years? Of course, shouldn't this genius deserve to have innate full soul power? Chase Lu generously called out the infinite gems, and six gorgeous gems rotated orderly around Chase Lu's wrist. In this Duluo continent, Lu Chen didn't worry at all that someone could recognize the infinite gems. It really is a gem type, or six, it is indeed quite rare. Although it cannot be said how powerful it is, its malleability is incomparable to other spirits. Gem type martial souls will acquire different abilities depending on the soul ring they obtain, and they can develop in any direction. It can be strength, it can also be control system, agility attack system or even auxiliary system, everything is based on the soul ring, it can be said that it is the martial soul that relies most on the soul ring. In the world of soul masters, the stronger the martial soul, the better, but generally speaking, most martial souls are already finalized when they awaken, and they have the most suitable direction for their own development. But the gem type martial spirit is just the opposite. It has the greatest uncertainty among all martial spirits, and it is very confusing. You thought it was an attack type, but its next soul ring might be an auxiliary skill or a control skill. Tang Hao looked at Lu Chen's martial soul calmly, and said slowly. Really, wouldn't that be great? Oh, blacksmith. No, why do you know Wu Hun so well? Are you really a blacksmith? Lu Chen glanced at Tang San, then set his eyes on Tang Hao, to see how he would answer. HMPH, you don't need to take care of my business. Xiao San, tidy up the table and forge the forging table. Tang Hao snorted coldly, got up and went back to his room. Dad. Tang San looked at Tang Hao whose attitude suddenly changed and expressed doubts, just like Lu Chen said, is dad really just an ordinary blacksmith? He seems to know Lu Chen's martial soul very well, and his second martial soul, the Haotian Hammer, seems to have inherited his father. The blacksmith just told you to go to the forging table, does he want to teach you how to forge? What? Are you interested in Lu Chen? TCH, have you seen my gemstone martial soul? You are naturally noble, so it is impossible for you to be interested in blacksmithing. In the forging room, Tang San started his blacksmithing work. According to his father's request, he had to forge a piece of pig iron into the size of a fist within a certain period of time. For now, it still takes a lot of time. Ding ding dong, ding ding dong. Tang San happily knocked on the iron block. 
The sound of the collision of the hammer and the iron block was very rhythmic, just like an ancient musical instrument chime, which made Lu Chen, who was watching from the sidelines, almost fell asleep. Little Sanzi, continue to play music and dance. Lu Chen, what did you say? Tang San stopped, he just focused on blacksmithing and didn't hear clearly what Lu Chen was saying. It's nothing, you continue. At this moment, the door curtain was lifted, Tang Hao walked in, and frowned as he watched Lu Chen who was dozing off beside him. Father, Tang San looked at Tang Hao and stopped what he was doing. Huh. Why did you stop? Let's continue to play music, young man. Lu Chen rubbed his eyes and wiped away the non-existent eye feces. Tang Hao didn't say anything, he just made a gesture to let him continue, and stood aside. Tang San understood what he meant, and began to wave the hammer in his hand. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Still full of sense of rhythm, Tang Hao watched from the sidelines, which made Tang San work very hard. Tang San's clothes were already soaked in sweat when the hammer was swinging vigorously. Looking at Tang San who was sweating profusely, Tang Hao couldn't help sighing, with such strength at this age, coupled with his innate full soul power, his son is indeed a talent. What old Jack said was not wrong, Tang San's growth and future should not be affected by his decadence. So he decided to teach Tang San the chaotic cloaking windhammer method of clear sky school. Stop. Tang Hao said suddenly. Hearing his father tell him to stop, Tang San immediately put down the hammer, wiped his sweat, and panted. Tang Hao walked to the forging platform, took Tang San's hammer and said, With your beating method, even if you were given a year, it would be impossible to beat this piece of pig iron into the size of a fist. Then what should I do? Tang San asked humbly. How did you exert your strength? Tang Hao asked back. From the waist, the waist drives the back, the back drives the arms, and then it can be hammered and forged. Wrong, you need to start exerting force from the two calves, the force is transmitted to the thigh, and then through the waist, back, and arms in turn, and finally released. This is a full blow, the calf exerts force, and the waist is the axis, look at it. A. I saw Tang Hao set up his posture, raised the hammer above his head, and smashed it down on the pig iron in front of him. Clang clang clang. With just three blows, the piece of pig iron was smashed and completely collapsed. It's amazing, this hammering method is completely different from the hammering method that dad used to forge farm tools. Strength, timing, and focus are all just right. This is not something ordinary blacksmiths can do, what is daddy? Tang San exclaimed. Don't be distracted, continue to watch my next move. Tang Hao shouted, look carefully, study hard, and remember carefully. Bang 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 bang. After a beating, a perfect piece of iron without any impurities was released. Do you understand? Tang Hao asked Tang San. Well, there are 99 and 81 hammers in total, and each hammer is stronger than the previous one. Tang San nodded, and looked at Tang Hao with very admiring eyes. Hee hee, you have good eyesight. Tang Hao was a little surprised at Tang San's talent. This is what I want to teach you, the disorderly cloak windhammer technique. Swing the Juju 81 hammer, one hammer is stronger than one hammer, and you can shape the iron block into any shape you want. How much have you learned? Chaotic cloaking windhammer technique. Tang San murmured, unexpectedly there is such a superb hammer technique in this world, I probably learned seven levels. Seventh floor? Tang Hao looked at Tang San in shock, he just demonstrated it once, and Tang San learned the general idea? Little Sanzi, you can't do it. You only learned the seventh level of such a simple hammering method. Lu Chen, who was standing aside, suddenly interjected, isn't it just clang clang clang? In fact, it is very easy as long as you have a good sense of rhythm. Learned. What clang clang clang? Tang San said in bewilderment. Dang 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 is. Lu Chen Rui moistened his throat. Only you, can accompany me to learn the western scriptures, only you can kill demons and eliminate demons. Tang Hao. Tang San. Uh underscore, little San, dad is teaching you a lesson, there is a saying that goes close to vermilion and makes red, and close to ink makes black. To make friends, you must keep your eyes open. You can have few friends, but you must be smart, and you must be very smart. Tang Hao patted Tang San's head, and said earnestly. Blacksmith. What do you mean? Lu Chen glared at Tang Hao, calling me stupid. Do you understand humor? Just the literal meaning, not everyone can learn the windhammer technique, it requires extremely high talent. That sense of rhythm you just said is completely nonsense. No chicken talk? How about we make a bet? Do you dare? How do you want a bet? 
Tang Hao crossed his arms and looked down at Lu Chen with a confident look. I'll follow the rhythm I said, and hit the pig iron in the shape you specified. If I win, you have to promise me a condition. Lu Chen was also not to be outdone, with his arms crossed, he climbed up to the table next to him, and looked down at Tang Hao with a look of confidence. Tang San. Underscore. What if you lose? Then let you handle it. Lu Chen said loudly, just kidding, I have a reality gem, I can knock this piece of iron into meat buns, believe it or not. Okay, that's what you said. Borrow a hammer. Lu Chen came to the forging table, took the hammer from Tang Hao, and threw it away. The hammer is very light. For Lu Chen, this weight is not worth looking at at all. But this action is not so in the eyes of Tang Hao and Tang San. Tang Hao's eyelids twitched, he knew the weight of the hammer very well. Tang San could handle it because of his innate divine power, could this kid also be born with divine power? But so what? Forging iron is a technical job, not just relying on strength. I won't make things difficult for you, you just need to forge this piece of pig iron to be the same size as my previous one and you will win. Lu Chen glanced at Tang Hao and said nothing. He picked a piece of pig iron from the corner, put it on the forging table, and then slowly closed his eyes. One second, ten seconds, thirty seconds. When Lu Chen opened his eyes, his momentum changed, and at that moment, he recalled the past. Once, he was the prettiest guy in Chamat Square, a pack of cement and a subwoofer could let him go and regain his confidence. Lu Chen moved, he twisted his body, shook his head, his movements were all kinds of strange, like a group of demons dancing. Tang Hao. Tang San. Underscore, but with his hammer, every blow hit the pig iron with precision. Bang 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 This rhythmic beating sound is like an electronic song that can make people's blood spurt While tapping Lu Chen secretly used the ability of the reality gem and according to his own ideas this piece of pig iron continued to become what he wanted in Tang San's shocked eyes, in Tang Hao's unbelievable expression like a dog. A piece of iron that was smelted by Tang Hao before, the same size and no impurities, was forged by Lu Chen in this way. How? What else do you have to say, blacksmith? Lu Chen threw the hammer away and clapped his hands. Ha! Huh. Tang Hao took a deep breath, and then let it out heavily, his chest heaving violently, highlighting his inner unrest. What kind of hammering method are you doing? What? You want to learn, I can teach you. HMPH, your messy hammering method is simply insulting the blacksmith, but I, Tang Hao, I'm not a person who doesn't keep his promises. I am willing to admit defeat. You can ask for any conditions. Tang Hao snorted coldly, a little unconvinced, he Tang Hao was wronged. When did he, Heoshin Du Luo, be so useless, this brat is simply poisonous. Ha ha, that's what you said, but I haven't figured it out yet, you owe this condition first, and I'll tell you when I figure it out. Lu Chen, what kind of hammering method is this messy hammering method of yours? No matter how I look at it, I feel like a crazy person, it is better to use dad's chaotic wind hammering method. Tang San firmly believed in Tang Hao's words. During the forging process of Lu Chen just now, he used his own purple demon eye. He found that apart from achieving the strength of this messy hammering method of Lu Chen, he didn't grasp the timing or the point of focus well, and it was completely random. But what he couldn't understand at all was that Lu Chen used this messy hammering method to forge a perfect piece of refined iron. Could it be that Lu Chen's hammering technique is too advanced? Tang San thought about it, and thought it was impossible, he had never seen Lu Chen blacksmithing, and he himself said that he was not interested in blacksmithing. What are you talking about? This is the hammering method that I learned from Ching Chun in the past. Lu Chen gave Tang San a blank look, chatting with ancient people is troublesome. Okay, little San, hurry up and practice the cloaked windhammer method I just taught you a few more times, and get a good understanding. If you want to swing the Juju 81 hammer continuously, you still have to practice for a long time. Well, I know Dad, I will work hard. Tang San nodded, picked up the hammer that Lu Chen had thrown away from the ground, and then picked up a piece of pig iron from the corner, and began to practice the chaotic windhammer technique Tang Hao taught her. Tang Hao on the side looked at it for a while, then turned and left, not knowing what to do. Little Sanzi, I want to ask you a question. Lu Chen, I think it's better for you not to ask. I won't answer you. Every time you ask questions, there are all kinds of strange things. I always feel that you are taking advantage of me. Cut, it's boring. 
then you can practice your chaotic windhammer technique here first, and come and fight with me when you have time. Are you going back? No, I'm just wandering around. I'm about to leave the Holy Soul Village where I've lived for six years, I'm going out for a walk. On the village road of Holy Soul Village, Lu Chen walked slowly. Five of the six infinite gems have been tested, and the soul gem has not been used yet. Steal, manipulate, and modify the soul. In this Duluo star, the soul gem can be said to be the absolute nemesis of any undead and living beings with souls. Soul rings and martial spirits should be another way to embody the soul of this world, right? Then can I use soul gems to steal other people's soul rings? Steal the title Duluo into a soul warrior? Lu Chen touched his chin and thought for a while. It seems to be pretty good, isn't it fun? Manipulation seems to be good. All the skills of the soul master are my skills, and the martial souls of all the soul masters are my martial souls. I can manipulate them. This seems to be good. Then, can this modification be able to change a waste martial soul like blue silver grass into blue silver king or blue silver emperor? Or change the ten year spirit ring into a hundred year or thousand year spirit ring? Even ten thousand years, a hundred thousand year soul ring? Oh my god. If this is the case, it will be a lot of fun. For a while, Lu Chen began to dream. In the martial soul competition, the enemy assisted the mutiny and began to assist our personnel. The enemy's control department has controlled their own people, and the enemy's assault department has beaten their own people to the ground. Haha, ha, wouldn't they want to start a fight? Or how about changing Master Luo Sanpao's soul skill to shit? Wouldn't it be perfect for shit and fart? On the quiet village road, Lu Chen let out an extremely obscene laugh alone, and his handsome and tender face became swaying because of the gradually wicked smile. It is conceivable that the picture must be very beautiful, and the expression of the master must be very rich. In the soul beast forest, the master walked in front of Tang San with his arms behind his back. The master knew everything about the soul beast forest, and he looked like an expert. Don't want to fool Tang San, and worship him extremely for a while. Suddenly several ten-year-old soul beasts appeared, and the master calmly summoned Luo Sanpao, chanting Sao Bao's incantation, fart like thunder, thundering Luo Sanpao. Then Luo Sanpao pouted his ass, and a lump of hot poop exuding a charming aroma was released, and then smoked several ten-year-old soul beasts to death. One can imagine that the master's expression must be quite wonderful at that time. I don't know if Tang San would regret paying homage to such a master at that time. Ha 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 ha, I can't wait to go to the academy to report. I'm really a genius, no, I have to use this soul gem well, it's really a life to be happy. Soul masters of Duluo continent, are you ready to meet the great demon king Lu Chen? Ha 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 ha. Lu Chen laughed wantonly, and because the laughter spread far away, many villagers who were doing farm work focused their eyes on Lu Chen. Whose stupid son is this? What a perverted laugh. It seems to belong to the village chief's family. I heard that at today's martial soul awakening ceremony, even the deacon of the martial soul hall praised him. It seems that he is born with full soul power. How did you know? Old Jack said from door to door, can I not know? Then why don't I know? Who told you that your martial spirit is a rabbit, the village chief hates you the most. Chase Lu quickly noticed the villagers pointing, stopped laughing quickly, blushed slightly, and trotted away. Holy Soul Village is not big, and there are only dozens of households scattered here and there. Lu Chen can be said to be very familiar with everything here. It is said that boys who like small animals are very gentle, and he, Lu Chen, likes small animals very much. The chickens and ducklings raised by the villagers are all the objects of his amusement, so that when they grow up, they chase after Lu Chen crazily. There is also a little yellow dog kept by Lao Wang next door. Lao Wang calls it Wang Kai, and Lu Chen calls it Gu Sheng. It is very smart and often helps Lao Wang to watch out. Whenever Lao Li next door comes back from working in the field, the dog will bark wildly, and Lao Wang will sneak naked from Lao Li's house next door to the small woods behind. It is also the object that Lu Chen often takes care of, so that every time Lu Chen passes by the door of the old Wang's house, the dog will greet Lu Chen with grinning teeth. After going to Notting City Junior Soul Master Academy, it may take a year to come back. Go and see Gu Sheng. Having been with Gu Sheng for several years, the little milk dog back then has grown into a mighty big yellow dog. Arriving at the door of Lao Wang's house, Lu Chen saw the dog lying peacefully at the door, with its little tail wagging, and it was sleeping soundly, as if it was dreaming some sweet dream. It's still a familiar formula and a familiar taste. Lu Chen tiptoed to Go Sheng's side, moistened his throat, and took a deep breath. 
Will I be prosperous this year? Lu Chen roared. Want Wang 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 Wang. The dog who was awakened jumped up in fright. His tail was caught under his buttocks in an instant, and he fled a short distance like lightning before barking at Lu Chen. And at this moment, Lao Wang's next door, that is, Lao Li's house, a white figure rushed out of Lao Li's house at an extremely fast speed, and hid in the small woods behind. Ha ha ha, I'm really sorry, Gu Sheng, for disturbing your sweet dreams again. Old Wang's figure has not lost the same as before, he is still so chic and handsome. But Gu Sheng didn't seem to appreciate it, and kept barking at Lu Chen with his tail between his legs. Ha ha, why are you so angry? At worst, I'll make it up to you. Lu Chen smiled as he looked at Go Sheng grinning but didn't dare to touch him. How can I compensate you? Lu Chen touched his chin, looked at this ordinary puppy, and fell into deep thought for a while. There are also some ordinary animals in the world of Duluo continent. They have no soul power, cannot cultivate like soul beasts, and their lifespan is extremely short. In this world full of soul beasts, those ordinary animals can only move around the range of human activities, and there are no soul beasts in those places. Although there are occasional hunters to hunt and kill, at least it is much better than facing those terrifying spirit beasts. Go Sheng, what do you think of me transforming you into a martial spirit like a human being? A sudden inspiration came to Lu Chen's mind, and he thought it might be very interesting to do so. A big yellow dog with a martial spirit, this will definitely shock all the soul masters in the entire Duluo continent. I am afraid that all the masters of martial arts research will start to stay up late and work overtime. It doesn't matter whether Gu Sheng agrees or not, Chase Lu just thinks it's fun. He grabbed one of Gu Sheng's hind legs, and under Gu Sheng's fierce resistance and howling, Gu Sheng was mercilessly dragged into the woods by Lu Chen. It was already afternoon, and there were many more villagers in Shenghen village who had returned from farming. In order not to attract attention, Lu Chen had no choice but to take the dog left over to the grove to transform it, don't think wrongly. Looking at Go Sheng who was trembling with fear, Lu Chen summoned the Infinity Gem Martial Soul, and the bright yellow soul spar shone with mysterious light. Soul gems control the supreme law of the soul, everything has animism, no matter whether it is living or undead, it cannot escape the shackles of the soul. From this point of view, the soul gem can be said to be quite buggy. The soul gem's ability to modify the soul was activated, and Chase Lu put his hand on Gu Sheng's head, and a mysterious yellow light group surrounded Gu Sheng. Go Sheng's soul is very weak, like a candle flickering in the wind. It's not even comparable to those disgusting butterflies that Chase Lu killed in the Star Doe forest before. This is the gap between ordinary animals and soul beasts. With the continuous transformation of the soul gem, Chase Lu clearly felt that the dog's soul had grown and solidified a lot. What kind of martial soul will I make for you? Chase Lu was thinking, as the dog is a canine animal, the incomparable created by Chase Lu must be related to dogs, which is more suitable. Is there any more powerful dog martial soul? Hell three-headed dog, Gnosis. It seems that wolves are also canine animals. This reminds me of Garuruman. The ultimate body seems to be steel Garuru coming.